In this episode, we're going to take a look at Microsoft's verified ID, the next generation of identity. Are you ready? Greetings YouTubers, welcome to the channel. Andy here, Microsoft MVP. I thought in this episode we'd take a look at Microsoft's next generation of identity. It's called Verified ID and can now be found in Microsoft Entra in the Microsoft 365 and Azure admin centers. And this basically works a little bit like this. We're all familiar with things like the Apple Wallet, the fact that we can pay with credit cards and Apple Pay and so on. In fact, it's become commonplace. But what if we could verify IRR ID by using exactly the same process. So the idea here is that we create a verified ID with a trusted authority. And that means that we register all our personal information, credit cards, passport, everything like that, to a government body or trusted organization. They then issue us with a verified ID. We can then use that ID to Obviously, when we join a company, they can verify our identity. If you purchase a car or go to the airport to verify your ID for travel, or in fact, any scenario, you now have a digital ID that's been verified to be trustworthy. It's an awesome prospect, and it's really kicking off big time. So what I want to do is take a look at a quick demo. And the idea is it will give you a nice scenario into exactly what this cool technology does. So I'm here in Azure Active Directory and you'll notice that this is the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. The Microsoft Entra Admin Center has three core components. So the first is, of course, Azure Active Directory, which I covered on a previous session. Permissions Management, which is the old CloudNox product that Microsoft purchased. And we have Verified ID. Now, Verified ID uh, allows you to deploy your users with what we call a DID, a digital, a digital ID. So again, it allows them to create a digital ID and store it in your bank wallet. So in this case, you can see that we've got an organization name. It could be Woodgrove, Woodgrove Bank, for example. You need to store your privacy keys in your Azure Key Vault. So once you've configured this, of course, you can then start to generate digital IDs. But what does that experience look like? Let's take a look. So here I am on day one of my new job with Woodgrove Bank. So I popped in my name and I'm joining the organization. So first up then it says, okay, we need to verify that you are who you say you are. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna prompt me to go to a trustworthy website, which is True Identity. So we start with stage one. So I'm gonna verify my online identity and I put my details in. I can even take a, a selfie. There we go, I I've taken the selfie and I'm now going to upload my government issued ID. So this could be a passport, driver's license, so something that's trustworthy and has been updated. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to upload that and it now verifies my information and it says, okay, it's complete. Now it says, okay, scan your QR code with your authentication. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan this QR code here and you can see it opens up the Microsoft Authenticator. It authenticates me and it now says, okay, you need to put in this verification number. So I'm just gonna pop this number in here Okay, so I now have that authenticator number in. I now click on next, and you can see it's actually generating a uh, verified ID for me. And I'm now going to add that to my wallet. So it's now added this to my Apple wallet. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can now return to my new employer. And it says, confirm that I've received my identity, of which I have here. So it now says, do you want to uh, gain access to your company portal? Absolutely, I want to do that. 
So it will now generate another uh, code for me. So it's now asking me, it's come through and you can see it's got all my details here, my name, my address, my contact details. I'd like to point out this is just a demo by the way. I'm gonna confirm that. So I'm happy to share my information with my uh, new employer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to share that. And you can now see that I've successfully completed that. Okay, so now that's completed, I'm gonna continue onboarding. So you can now see I've got full access to my employer's website. It gives me all my details and everything that I need. So now it's saying, hey, um, retrieve your workplace credentials. Okay, I definitely wanna do that. So I've got a, a, another QR code here. So I'll just go ahead and add that one in and it's going to uh, send me to the authenticator once again. So you can see, sending me to the Microsoft authenticator. Um, so I'm gonna go into this, and it's now asking me to verify with a, another code. So I'll just put that one in here. Okay, so I now enter my four digit code, and you can see it's now asking me, hey, do you want to verify your uh, ID? So I want to add my employer's identity uh, to my verified ID. And you can see I've now got my Woodgrove Bank ID card, okay? And this tells me all my employee details. And of course, you can see all the details. And you'll notice that we've got two tabs here, one that says activity and another one that says verified ID. Now, um, the next thing I might want to do is I might want to order some equipment. So uh, my new laptop or my new iPad. So I go to the vendor, but I discover that, hey, the vendor does discounts. So some of these devices look pretty expensive. So what I can do is, yeah, I want to access my discount. And it's asking me, hey, do you want to put in your details or do you want to verify your employee's credential? Well, that sounds like a deal to me. So it now prompts me for a QR code. So I go into the QR code, go into the authenticator, and you can see once authenticated, it says, hey, do you want to share this with the organization? So I'm saying, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I'm happy to do that. So no problem. I confirm that, click on share. And again, you can see it's now been done. And look, now I get a discount. How cool is that? So there you have it. That's registering for a verified ID, how to set it up, and more importantly, just one of the things that you can do with it. So there you have it, Microsoft Entra Verified ID, the next generation of digital identity now available in Microsoft uh, Azure. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed that session. Just a quick session this week, wasn't it? Um, I really hope you liked it. If you did, bump the like button up there, ring the bell, it does make a difference. And if you've not subscribed, well, hey, come on board with us. Come and join uh, this great community of IT pros that I'm trying to build out. Okay, questions, comments, please get them down below. And uh, well, what can I say? Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time around. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.